Audio Builders TV presents What Did My Gig Bag? This multi-part series presented by Kevin Thurber will cover all of the equipment he brings with him as an A1. Kevin is a freelance A1 and the full-time sound supervisor at the Boston Conservatory at Berkeley. Audio Builders TV is presented by the students of Concord Carlisle High School with help from Colonial Sound and CCTV. Please subscribe to us on YouTube and sign up for our mailing list at audiobuildersworkshop.com. <laughs> Audio Builders. Audio Builders Workshop is a work group for the Boston chapter of the Audio Engineering Society. I'm Kevin Thurber. I'm a freelance audio engineer and sound designer. And today I'm here with Audio Builders TV to take a look at what's in my gig bag. And today we're going to look at my adapter kit. First of all is an RCA to stereo mini jack with two RCA to quarter inch adapters on the end. And the idea is I can get in and out of a computer into a DI box uh, whether it has RCA or quarter inch jacks on it, and then I also have the RCA to quarter inch that I can just pull off of this. Next, we're going to dive into all of my XLR turnarounds. So I have four female to female, four male to male adapters. Here I have two each of XLR to quarter inch and quarter inch to XLR, and RCA to XLR, and uh, RCA male and RCA female to XLR. So there are the other two of those. And also in this pouch I have one Y cable. I generally don't like to use Ys. I pretty much only use them for measurement purposes when I'm splitting off a signal to go into my interface. Uh, but it saved me a couple times just having this one Y that I put together out of three connectors I had lying around. Uh, also in here I have two NL4 turnarounds. And these are probably my most used connectors just because NL4 is so common on job sites nowadays for hooking up speakers. Um, and usually you don't have the exact lengths you need. So if you can bang together a couple of them and then have a connector that actually locks in place, you're doing pretty good for yourself. Finally, on this side, I have all sorts of different BNC adapters. First of all is this uh, RF antenna quality splitter and combiner. Basically what's in here is a circuit that allows you to either split out full range uh, UHF frequency antennas or combine antennas. Uh, and it's awesome to have because sometimes your antenna combiner goes down, sometimes somebody shows up with uh, mics without the antennas you need and perhaps you can just combine the ones you have to cover that range. Uh, and it's such a rare item to have on a job site that it's, and it's so small for me to carry that it's just great to have in my bag. Also I have these two 10 dB uh, RF attenuators, where if you're in uh, an environment with wireless microphones and it's really, really busy or your signal is really hot, uh, there's not much you can do. <laughs> Sometimes you just run into interference. And with these, uh, you can hook up to both your antennas and just knock down the noise floor at 10 dB, which can be a lifesaver sometimes. And I usually rarely see anybody else or any companies carrying these. Uh, and they were easy to obtain, so I just grabbed a couple for myself. Also in here, I just have a few of these uh, BNC to BNC connectors. Um, it's tough to use these sometimes because you're going to lose a lot of uh, signal just across using one of these, but sometimes it's your only option. If you have to deploy your antennas remotely, you have to extend a video signal, you have to connect a couple things together. So I always try to throw three or four of those in there. And they're, you know, super easy to obtain. These are all over the place. So I think it's always worth throwing a couple in your bag. So once again, I'm Kevin Thurber here with ABTV. Thanks for watching.